Good luck with that. Now, um, our first guest today caused chaos in the Dales as Debbie Dingle for nearly 20 years before she waved goodbye to the soap in 2021. Now, Charlie Webb is making her stage debut in the play Quiz, based on the infamous 2001 Who Wants to Be a Millionaire coughing scandal. <coughs> <coughs> Here to tell us more, Charlie Webb. <laughs> So Thanks. good to see. I, I said stage debut there, and I assumed you must have done a big production like this before. And in fact, this is this is it. This is the first yeah. big, big one. I haven't been on stage since I was a kid, wow. and I've really thrown myself into the deep end with this one. That's for sure. And how do you feel? Are you really nervous? Um, yeah, I am. Yeah. Um, I feel okay at the moment. I think as it gets closer, we're opening three weeks. Yeah, yes. Saturday or yeah. I mean, you're playing September Diana Ingram. Yeah, I am. That's the woman who. That's the wife. The wife. That's oh, the wife who yeah. was the coffer. Was she? Th she did cough. She what? did cough. Mm. No, a guy that it was a guy in an audience, wasn't yeah, it? Uh -huh. It was the co-conspirator. Yeah, but there was a moment where she does cough yeah. on, on an answer. So who knows? Who knows? But um, yeah, it's, it's interesting because there's new evidence. I'm not sure about the whole coughing thing. Oh, you're Are not. You not? I don't know, I'm not. They better change the play then, no? Well, I. I well, listen. <laughs> do you know what? The amazing thing about it is, is that. It's played in two halves and the audience gets a vote at the end of the first half and the end of the second half. So it's really interactive. I'm like, I don't actually want to go and do the show. I want to I just want to watch it. I want to watch it. I really want to watch and it. And a great cast. It's you, it's Rory Bremner yeah. playing um Chris Tarrant. Yeah. Mark Benton. Mark Benton, yeah. Is in it. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's it? an amazing cast and it's Sean Lennon and Daniel Edwards that are directing. It's written by James Graham. I mean, it's like just the, the most amazing team. And where are you so going? Lucky. So we open in Chichester Festival Theatre. It's lovely okay. there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I can't wait. Um, so we'll be there for a few weeks uh, rehearsing and teching and then we open and then we're going to Manchester, we go to Bromley, Canterbury, Bath, like all amazing theatres, so... Yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be a good one because they've always maintained their innocence. So, like you say, it's interesting how you and they're still maybe together. Yeah, that's yeah. what I find really interested about is they are still together. Do you know I went to a boot sale. I love boot sales, mm. and he was at a boot sale. Oh, because wow. he does was like he, he has he does like he sells. What like, he and... spent all his million? <laughs> no, no, but he sells like antiquities. That was always their thing, oh, and they right. go. But they didn't on... get the million. Oh, no, they didn't, didn't get, get the million. Of course they no. didn't. Well, yeah. they did for five minutes. For five so minutes. They're, they're, yeah. they're yeah. like, yeah. sorry. <laughs> they did, they did. What's it like being away from home, Charlie? I suppose it's the first time in a long time you've had to do a big stint away. Yeah, it's the first time I've worked away from home, yeah. So um, I've been staying with one of my friends quite a lot. She's been saving me. Uh, but, yeah, it's just easier to block it out, you know? Like, I've got to be away, I've got to rehearse, I've got to keep my head in, in what I'm doing. So A starts school next week, so I'm going to go home for that. Um, and then straight back to rehearsals, so... Get back yeah. into it. Yeah. Um, really interesting how you have said you felt you manifested this next phase of your life, because you were, as they say, 20 years in Amberdale, a huge portion of your life, very much... You're so synonymous with the show as a fan, like, I still think of you being there, really. But you thought, right, I have to change things, you wanted new things, yeah. and it was manifestation that you felt brought it to you. Yeah, so uh, Roxanne Afusi's book um, was amazing, and I know Roxy, and I read her book, and I just completely changed my life and I just thought I want to do something new um, and I'd want you know I read the book after that but I decided I wanted to do new things you know what it's like that like you want to try different things and, and sometimes it's hard after a long soap stint it can be really hard and I was really lucky because I worked really quickly and um, so I feel like you know I was so lucky in that sense but ma yeah manifesting is just amazing like if you don't do it look into it because it is brilliant and, and you manifested really up the long shadow which sounds Amazing. Yeah. Tell us about that. So Long Shadows out in September on ITV. It's directed by Lewis Arnold, who's just amazing. And it's it's re they've done it so sensitively. It's it's been done so brilliantly. Um, you know, it's 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 about the women and, and their families and they've just done it so so well. It's about, about to do with it is, yeah. 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 But that's not what the focus is, you know, that's... It, he isn't it's in it It's about the much. lives it's, he affected. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It's about the families and, and, and the victims, really. And what do you so, play in it? I play a police woman. Oh, dear. Yeah. In a, in a hideous outfit from the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so very you glamorous. Toby Jones, isn't it? Yes. Toby yes. Jones, oh, I mean, it's like, you know, getting to work with Toby Jones. It's yeah. like, oh, it's just the, mo the dream cast. David Morrissey, like, it's just brilliant. It's Amazing. such a brilliant cast, yeah. You've been very vocal about online trolling, haven't mm. you? Um and that we should really take it more seriously because it's affecting 
so many, so many people. Oh, massively. I mean, I don't understand why we don't. I tend to not really respond to people because actually when they say these things, they just want a response. So I just think, oh, I'm ignoring you. But I think that, you know, it gets to a point where I feel lucky that I don't, I've got quite a thick skin, but not everyone has. Mm. And I worry for children. I worry for people. I just worry for everyone. I just think, who sits behind There's an the increase computer? in women tearing other women down on social media actually, as well, a lot of that. Actually, if you think that had social media had been around when you joined, because you were, what, 14? Yeah, That yeah, would have been very yeah, difficult. Yeah, it would have been a whole different story. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I could have done it, actually. Like, it's, it, you know, the world is so different now. When I joined, it was just about being an actor and, you know, doing doing whatever you love. <laughs> but, oh, my gosh, I look so young. Um, but now <laughs> it's, like, a whole different thing. It's, yeah. it's, 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 and camera phones, you know, everywhere you go, like, people just, like, take pictures of you and you're like... Like, no one even asks anymore. No. Yeah. I mean, no. some people do, of them. course. Yeah, they do, yeah. and I just think it's so... Imagine if I just was, like, walking down the street and just think, oh, I'll just take a picture of you, I'd probably be arrested. No, I know. You know I mean, but... when I was in Corrie, it was just... We had, we had a load of pigeonholes and people just wrote to you and you just stuffed everything in your pigeonhole. The thought of going through an experience like that, being so exposed, dealing with what young people deal with mm. now, the compare and despair world is just horrendous. It changes yeah, the landscape it's around, it. doesn't it? Um, Charlie, honestly, it's, it's going to be great. Everyone, like we say, we're gripped by the whole story. Yeah, um, the quiz. I'm gripped. National <laughs> tour kicking off on the 22nd of September. Thank you very much, Charlie Thank Webb. You. Yeah. <laughs>